Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back to another episode of the SEO.co podcast. Today, we're going to cover how to avoid choosing the wrong ad rotation setting. Thousands of so-called Google ad experts will all tell you something different about choosing the right ad rotation setting. Some will tell you that you'll need to optimize your ads for clicks and let your copy and visuals do all the talking. Others will proclaim that you should instead optimize your ads for conversions instead and let your landing page do the hard work. In reality, there isn't a definite answer to which is the better ad rotation setting. Depending on the goals of your campaign, audience, and even your landing page, your choice could differ from the rest. Nonetheless, you can still make the costly mistake of selecting the wrong ad rotation setting. Do you want to avoid this mistake? Well, here's how you can. Complete with the full pros and cons of each ad rotation setting to help you make the best decision. Option number one, optimize for clicks. If you're new to Google Ads, aren't careful, or simply don't know what you're doing, then you'll ultimately leave your ads on this default setting. Unfortunately, this can cause you to learn absolutely nothing from all but one of your ads. At first glance, Google Ads isn't clear about how this setting works, though its concept is very simple. When you run your campaign and it goes live, Google will handpick the ad that's performing the best. Then it will show this ad to your audience 99% of the time. This means that the other ads in your group won't receive any visibility. To optimize for clicks means to place the best ad in your campaign in the front lines of your audience to achieve as many clicks as possible. Pros. Advertisers can get lucky and Google will present the ad that's actually designed to convert most of your target audience. Thus, you can improve the ROI for your campaign and actually save a lot of money in the process. Cons. What will usually happen if you select this option is that one of your ads will receive more clicks than the others. Over time, you'll see your ads receiving more clicks and attention, which is what the setting was designed for. Experienced Google Ads experts will tell you that receiving clicks isn't an effective way to measure the performance, success, and ROI of your campaign. Conversions are all that matter to Google Ads campaigns. A lot of newbie advertisers choose this setting and expect their ads to run with minimal supervision and interaction. And that leads us to the next setting. Option two, optimize for conversions. Likewise, ads that are optimized for conversions utilize conversion rates and click-through rate, CTR, and position the ads that are more likely to generate conversions. Naturally, this seems like the better option. In some cases, it is. But here are some of the important considerations that you should be aware of. Pros. If you have an ad that's performing very well, Google will handpick it and improve the performance of your entire campaign. If you don't have a lot of time to devote to your campaigns, then this is the closest set-it-and-forget-it option you'll ever encounter. Your chances of success are much higher when you choose this option, mainly since your ads will be designed to convert rather than attract. Cons. When you select this option, your campaign will likely receive fewer clicks. If there isn't enough conversion data, then your ad's presentation will depend on its CTR, which will select the first option by default. You can also run the risk of spending a lot of time on your ads that won't even be shown to your target audience. Worst of all, you may not even receive suitable data that will help you analyze and optimize your ads for better performance. Before you choose this option, you need to determine if you value reliable text analysis. Options three and four. Rotate either evenly or indefinitely. If you're torn between choosing either option, these are your final two alternatives. You can choose to rotate your ads on both settings evenly. Basically, Google will gather data on which option is best to cycle between both for maximum results. When you choose the other option, your ads will rotate for an indefinite period of time. Pros. Choosing this option is what veteran PPC experts do. It will allow you to constantly test your ads and gather sufficient data to make effective, real-time decisions. When you allow your ads to rotate evenly, you'll have the freedom to optimize, create, and work on your campaign to ensure that the best ad will be presented. After 90 days, Google will make the decision to showcase your best ads to achieve as many conversions as possible. This will result in a heightened ROI for your campaign. Cons. If you lack the time to manage your own campaign, then Google will basically run ads that aren't effective. Choosing either of these options will depend on you paying more attention to your campaign. Therefore, if you don't have the time or don't wish to manage your campaign, these options aren't for you. When running a Google Ads campaign, there's no such thing as a set it and forget it rotation setting. You'll need to be heavily invested in your campaign in order for it to work. 
Otherwise, you'll lose hundreds and even thousands of dollars and won't even realize it. Hiring an experienced PPC agency after first firing your current agency is in your best interest, and none of these rotation settings are ideal. When you're spending money on every click, you'll want to ensure that you're getting the most return for your spend. That's where hiring a PPC agency comes into play. So if you're like most people, Google Ads is a troubling maze. You're hesitant to waste your money, but you know how successful this platform can be for your business. If you want to explore the possibility of improving your campaign, then we'd love to talk to you. Contact us today to speak to a member of our team for more information. And thanks again for listening to the SEO.co podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.